at least five, six, maybe seven years ago, Nate Edwardson and I were in a conversation, a good friend of the house, personal good friend of mine, and he pastored another church here in town. And he was just sharing with me how he, he was getting frustrated at something. He was, getting, he was kind of frustrated at this. And it was the fact that um, they weren't seeing miracles, signs, and wonders, and a breakthrough and healing in their own church at the stirring, which is just right down the road. And he was just kind of praying to God, like, God, how come, how come other churches see breakthrough, but ours doesn't? And God's reply to him was, uh, you haven't asked for it. And then God's next statement was, I've given you everything you've asked for. And in seconds, God took Nate through his life and about everything that Nate had contended for or asked for, he reminded Nate, this is how I came through. This is how I came through. This is how I came through. And Nate learned something that day. Oh, I need to ask for it. So there's that story. And then just a couple, and that, that I've always had that in my head and just reminded to, to not be afraid to ask God for, you know, for whatever it is. And then just a couple of weeks ago, Randy Clark was here at the healing school, which was a phenomenal week. Some of the crazy miracles and just what Randy and his team brings. And it's just an increase for this environment every time he comes, which is every January. So it's like we get a promotion every January because he comes. And Randy, in, uh, I believe it was in one of the dinners in the green room, he was sharing a story. And, and Randy is a very excitable person. He gets, he gets kind of giddy like a little kid when it talked about when God does stuff. I mean, he just gets, it's so fun to watch. And in the green room, he was like, oh, I got to tell you guys a story. He said, um, I, was, I was telling God, like, God, how come in the book of Acts, you guys remember that p- portion of the story where in the book of Acts, the house they were meeting in trembled. You guys remember that portion? So Randy was like, I was telling God, like, God, how come no room has trembled that I've been in? Like, how come you haven't trembled a room yet? And God said, you haven't asked for it yet. <laughs> so Randy was like, well, I'm going to start asking. So he just started, God, I, you know, as, as he was going up the stage, he was like, God, I want you to tremble this room. And I don't know how much time went by, but some time went by. And, um, you know, I forget, I forget where it was. I want to say it's in South America somewhere. Uh, he's going to God, please tremble the room tonight. Well, during the meeting, the room trembled and he looked around and said, did you guys all feel that? And they were like, oh yeah, the room definitely trembled. And I, from my understanding, they, they did um, research to find out if there was an earthquake in the region. There was no earthquake in the region. And uh, so anyways, I, do, I remember the Nate story and Randy's story this morning. So in our staff prayer meeting upstairs, uh, I just said, hey, I, I shared that with the team. I said, let's make sure we're asking the Lord for what we want to see break, specifically what we want to see breakthrough, not just general, but be very specific. So I want to challenge all of us, just ask the Lord specifically what it is you want to see breakthrough in. And for me this morning in the prayer meeting upstairs, and a bunch of us prayed out, you know, um, I had to actually end it because everybody's making sure they get out what they wanted to pray for. But for me, I said, God, I'm tired of seeing wheelchairs come in the room full and leave full. I want to see, I want to see more breakthrough with wheelchairs. And then around the staff, various staff just prayed. I want to see more breakthrough in this area. So anyway, that's not the message today, but I want you to just, just take a hold of that. And I just found it interesting that I was reminded of Nate's story and Randy's story this morning. And so, amen.